This is a Seagate Cheetah 15,000 RPM 600 gigabytes hard drive. So being 15,000 RPM is obviously an SAS drive, as, as you can see the uh, SAS connector there. So 15,000 RPM is the fastest rotational speed for mechanical hard drives. Once the uh, 15,000 RPM era kind of died down, the rotational speed dropped back to 10,000 RPM and back down to 7,200 RPM. But the data transfer speed actually went up and that's because modern drives have got more platters and the uh, read-write head is able to transfer more data um, at any one time. So we are able to reduce the rotational speed and achieve greater throughput. Anyway, the purpose of this video is I just want to show you how fast 15 R, uh, sorry, 15,000 RPM looks like when the disc is spinning. I know you wouldn't be able to tell from the video, but you should be able to hear uh, what it sounds like. Um, so yeah, let's just hook this up. And it's spinning down so as you can see it spins down really quickly and the reason for that is that this is physically quite small so there's quite little inertia as you can see it occupies only a small um, or rather its diameter is a lot smaller than the drives actual width now this um, obviously being an SAS drive means I, I need a um, an SAS controller card installed um, you can't just hook up SATA power and expect it to spin up it doesn't work like that um, and the reason for that is in a RAID a, array there are many hard drives installed and if they spin up solely when SATA power is supplied then you're going to get a huge power surge in your uh, in your data center um, as all the motors put um, load on the power supply at the same time and this is why they only spin up when the SAS controller sends the command to tell them to spin up so just before stopping this video I'm going to do it one more time all right I'm going to yank the connector out again so one other thing you may have noticed is there's no ramp of uh, of this sort of ramp um, on these drives, which is isn't a good design. That means that even when it's powered off, the head remains um, on the disk surface, and that's going to cause issues if you bump the uh, the drives or, or drop them while in transport. Whereas modern hard drives would move the head to a location that's uh, outside the, the display, so that doesn't happen. Um, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.